Welcome to Techie Chat. And as you can see from this video, it's a little bit different from the regular Techie Chat. Uh, so this has been recorded entirely using Haiku. And I think this uh, is an example of how far the Haiku project has progressed. So I'm currently running here Beta 4, Haiku Beta 4 and that was released back in December and uh, also uh, apologies if my voice sounds a little strange on this video um, because I've put this all together within Haiku itself um, there are still some odd bugs here and there uh, where for example my voice seems to sound deeper uh, than it would normally do actually I quite like the sound of, uh, of a deeper me <laughs> but uh, anyhow um, let's look at the system version of Haiku we are running revision 1 beta 4 there's the href number and as you can see, it is running on actual hardware on my Intel Core i5. And uh, it's running very, very well. It's really quick. It boots within about 10 seconds. Uh, everything within this uh, operating system is super, super quick. Uh, LibreOffice is available and I've downloaded that via the Haiku Depot software store. And if we just check out the version of LibreOffice we are running, we can see we are running 7.332. Actually a pretty recent version of LibreOffice. Now, if you were going to just use Haiku OS and LibreOffice, you would probably be absolutely fine and the occasional web browsing here and there. But remember, this is a beta version and uh, we can expect uh, some crashes here and there. In particular, I found that there can be crashes with the new GTK applications. And they, that this is actually one of the biggest leaps for Haiku, is that GTK applications are now able to run within Haiku, which of course opens up things greatly for Haiku in particular for web browsing, because this version of Haiku uh, now runs uh, GTK Web or GNOME Web or Epiphany, I believe it was called at one stage as well. So not only do you have the uh, built-in web browser, web positive, but if you go to the Haiku Depot and uh, download web, uh, I believe it's called in Haiku Depot, which is its software center, uh, you will get a GNOME web. Just going through the menu up here and showing you uh, actually it, it works properly, which is quite cool. The desk bar, as it's called, or I, I've called it the feather menu before, but it's actually called the desk bar. Um, Actually, the icons displaying uh, applications in use, and for example, my B screen capture is in use. You can see that's uh, running there as well. So that all runs really well. And you've got to remember that Haiku is a system that is being built from scratch. Now, what I've uh, just demonstrated there is uh, application snapping. Now, this is a really, really handy thing. Uh, essentially, you can snap different applications together within the same window by holding down the Windows key. It goes that sort of gold bronzy color uh, and the applications will actually snap together. Now, this is especially handy if you have a multiple screen setup and you want to move a group of applications from one screen to the other rather than dragging and dropping and dragging and dropping each application. You can snap your applications together and uh, you could just drag uh, and drop that one window uh, across uh, with all your applications tiled, which I think is a, a pretty neat feature uh, of Haiku. So let's look at Haiku Depot here. Haiku Depot, as I've said uh, earlier, is the software center for Haiku. And previously when I reviewed Haiku, Haiku version four or beta four, there was a few applications, but actually um, it was a little bit limited. 
um, if I just wait for this uh, synchronizing package data to Haiku ports, we should see 3,688 items are now available for Haiku, which is fantastic. It, it, it's really growing as, a, a, as an operating system in terms of applications available. However, some of these applications have been imported from BOS and uh, are no longer developed or they only run on 32-bit systems because of course when BOS uh, stopped uh, being stopped being available it was at the time I believe only available for 32-bit systems. Now, of course, in terms of the history of BOS, this was a system that uh, met its demise in the late 90s and essentially was a well-admired system for things like video, etc. Um, but uh, unfortunately, it kind of died out after Apple passed it over for next systems, of course, owned by Steve Jobs and uh, adopted that as its OS X um, rather than BOS as its next version of operating system. So I'm just demonstrating here that YouTube actually now works within Haiku thanks to that GTK web. And uh, so I've opened up GTK web, but I've snapped it actually together with web positive uh, application. So uh, you can actually see uh, that YouTube does now work, which is fantastic uh, within Haiku. There you go. So that works properly. And again, uh, another sort of big thanks to running application uh, in GTK, uh, GTK applications. It's really cool that you can now do most of the things you would expect to do, oh, except there are the occasional crashes. Like I said earlier, uh, this is a beta operating system and you can expect some issues. Now, it could be that because I've uh, sort of snapped Web Positive and GNOME Web together, that it doesn't like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's um, it's a shame that there are uh, quite so many uh, crashes that I've come across whilst using this. I, I've been using this uh, since uh, since it was released really in December. I was uh, really keen to see what progress was made. Um, as you can see, uh, again, I'm just running YouTube, but this time within Web Positive. And um, Web Positive, again, is the web browser that gets bundled in with Haiku. It's the default browser. I kind of admire that they've uh, gone to the trouble of trying to create a browser that's native to Haiku. Um, however, it it only really works on basic web pages. And um, we'll just try and find a video that we can actually play uh, in YouTube um, or try to play without breaching copyright. And we'll just try this one. And you can see straight away your browser can't play this video. Personally, I, I I kind of think that they should perhaps now they can run GTK apps, perhaps focus on um, GTK web or GNOME web as their main browser and perhaps offer that as their default browser. At least it gives the chance for new users to have a positive experience of doing the type of things that they would do normally in operating systems, i.e. browse YouTube, go to news sites, etc. Uh, they, they would be able to use those sites using the GNOME web browser. And we are currently using GNOME Web 43, which is powered by WebKit GTK 2.93 there. So, yeah, fantastic leap forward, however, for Haiku, despite the crashes and despite uh, the fact that uh, things can be a little unstable at times. This really is a, a big leap forward. And the fact that I can record this video now on Haiku and actually OK, it's not up to my usual standards for uh, YouTube videos, but I really, really wanted to demonstrate uh, how 
far forward Haiku has come in terms of a user operating system. So it does have a terminal uh, application as well built in and you can use uh, the normal sort of Unix commands you would expect uh, within within the terminal application. Uh, things like uname, for example, you can run that within there and also you can probe your devices as well. Uh, I have been using that uh, to try and troubleshoot what's been going on with things like webcams and microphones and unfortunately I have to say uh, within Haiku at the moment uh, webcam support is still not great at all and uh, I haven't been able to get my Logitech uh, C920 USB webcam or my uh, Microsoft LifeCam uh, working or the webcam that is built into this Dell laptop working. Um, I haven't had any joy in getting any of those devices working and from what I can tell by probing the uh, devices uh, it seems that the webcam driver within Haiku doesn't support um, USB devices that are classed as miscellaneous. Uh, it's looking for something that says webcam. Oh, and there we go. There's a, another crash there, this time in VLC Media Player. So yes, this is still quite unstable. Um, however, th there has been a huge leap forward in terms of uh, general usability for Haiku. Um, just showing here the IRC client uh, that is uh, built into Haiku, it's called Vision and it's a way of linking in to the uh, Haiku teams and people who are fans of Haiku. Uh, it's a way of being able to link in and get questions um, with regards to Haiku answered. So that, that's quite nice that that is uh, built in. There's also this odd TV application, which I think uh, is a sort of uh, imported application from BOS maybe. Uh, I think it perhaps needs some kind of TV card, perhaps a PCI or PCMCIA TV card linked to an aerial for it to work, but uh, it doesn't work. Stream radio doesn't work. There's some kind of protocol error when you try and launch that. As I said, this is very, very much a beta and it's not, I've, I have actually tried to use it as a day-to-day -day system since December and I've got to say, I, I just haven't been able to use it as a day-to-day -day system, unfortunately. Mainly to do with things like the webcams not working, so I'm unable to run applications uh, like uh, Zoom and things like that, that just doesn't run. Uh, and if you try to uh, run some of the uh, webcam software within a web browser, for example, it just tells you that the web browser doesn't support that. So that's a little bit of a shame. And plus the uh, general stability of this particular release at the moment is still uh, not great. As you've seen indeed on this video, there has been a few crashes just recording this. However, overall, this version of Haiku uh, it is a massive leap forward and I'm really hoping uh, that the currently fully employed developer they have working on the Haiku at the moment is able to continue to push this project forward and perhaps maybe we'll even see a release candidate uh, of Haiku coming up at some stage uh, soon. Uh, this project has been in development for a very, very, very long time uh, uh, but it's been something that I have been watching for quite some time also. It is great to see uh, it sort of jump from beta 3 to beta 4 in a relatively short time for the Haiku project and I just hope they are able to get this release to at least a release candidate um, stage um, really fairly soon. And once they've ironed out those bugs and perhaps if they use a new USB driver for Haiku, um, 
this could really be a usable system, but we shall see. So if you have enjoyed this video and uh, you'd like to see more, then please click on like and subscribe. Otherwise, thank you for watching this Haiku created Techie Chat video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.